10 Scariest Animals You Should Be Glad They Extinct Hello friends! Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into the world of prehistoric creatures and explore the top 10 scariest animals that in some ways we should be thankful are no longer around. These ancient creatures were both fascinating and frightening, and they played a unique role in Earth's history. Let's get started. 10. Andrew Sarchis Andrew Sarchis is an extinct genus of mammal that lived during the Middle Eocene in China. It is the largest known terrestrial carnivorous mammal, with an estimated skull, length of 83.4 cm, 2.74 feet. Based on the proportions of mesonyx, it is estimated to have been about 3.82 meters, 12.5 feet, long and 1.89 meters, 6.2 feet, tall at the shoulder. Andrew Sarchis has a long snout with large, sharp teeth and flat cheek teeth. This suggests that it was a predator that could crush bones with its jaws. However, some scientists believe that it may have been a scavenger instead. Andrew Sarchis is only known from a single skull fossil, so there is still much that we do not know about this animal. For example, we do not know what its fur looked like or whether it was solitary or social. Andrew Sarchis is a fascinating creature, and its extinction is a reminder that even the largest and most powerful predators can be vulnerable to change. 9. Glyptodon Glyptodon was an extinct, large, heavily armored mammal related to modern armadillos. It lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, which ended around 11,700 years ago. While it was not predator, it had some characteristics and potential dangers associated with its size and defensive adaptations. Glyptodon was enormous, with some species, reaching lengths of up to 13 feet, 4 meters, and weighing several tons. Its large size alone could make it a potential hazard to any other animals or humans that encounter it. It was covered in a thick carapace of bony plates, which protected it from predators. Glyptodon had a long tail, which it used to balance itself and defend itself from predators. It also had a large beak, which it used to graze on plants. Glyptodon was a herbivore, and it is thought to have played an important role in the ecology of its time. It helped to keep grasslands in check and to spread seeds. 8. Megalania Megalania, Varanus priscus, was an extinct, giant monitored lizard that lived in Australia during the Pleistocene Epoch. It was one of the largest terrestrial lizards to have ever existed, with an estimated length of up to 23 feet, 7 meters, or more. Megalania was a carnivore, and it likely preyed on a variety of animals, including mammals, birds, and possibly other reptiles. Its size and sharp teeth would have made it a formidable predator capable of hunting large prey. Some scientists have suggested that Megalania might have had a venomous bite, similar to its smaller relatives, such as the Komodo dragon. During the Pleistocene, Megalania would have shared its habitat with early humans in Australia. While direct evidence of interactions is limited, there is a possibility that humans could have come into contact with or competed with Megalania for resources such as food and water. It's important to note that Megalania went extinct around 40,000 years ago, and the exact reasons for its extinction are still debated. 7. Host's Eagle Host's Eagle was enormous, with a wingspan estimated to be between 2.6 to 3 meters, approximately 8.5 to 10 feet, and a weight of up to 15 kilograms, 33 pounds. Its size was comparable to some of the largest vultures and condors today. It had powerful talons and a strong hooked beak. Host's eagle was a formidable predator, primarily preying on large flightless birds, particularly the now extinct Mo species of New Zealand. It was specially adapted to hunt these large, flightless birds and is believed to have been a swift and agile predator. Host's eagle is an example of island gigantism, a phenomenon where animals isolated on islands evolved to be much larger than their mainland relatives due to the absence of large mammalian predators. This unique adaptation allowed them to become apex predators in their ecosystem. 6. Sarcosuchus Sarcosuchus, meaning crocodile flesh, is an extinct genus of crocodilomorph that lived during the early Cretaceous period in what is now Africa and South America. 
it was one of the largest crocodiliforms known to have existed, reaching an estimated length of 9 to 9.5 meters and weighing up to 3.45 to 4.3 metric tons. Sarcosuchus had a long snout with numerous sharp teeth, suggesting that it was a predator of large aquatic animals. It is thought to have lived in rivers and lakes, where it would have ambushed its prey from the water, likely preying on fish, large dinosaurs, and other animals that ventured near the water. Sarcosuchus lived in what is now Africa, in the region that includes modern-day Niger and Morocco, Sarcosuchus and other prehistoric crocodile. Species eventually went extinct, possibly due to changes in environmental conditions and competition with other predators. They were succeeded by the modern crocodilians. 5. Arthropleura Arthropleura is an extinct genus of giant millipedes that lived during the Carboniferous period, 359.2 million to 299 million years ago. It is the largest known terrestrial arthropod of all time with some species reaching over 2 meters, 6.6 feet, in length. Arthropleura had a long, segmented body covered in a hard exoskeleton. It had many legs, which helped it to move around quickly and easily. Arthropleura were herbivores, primarily feeding on decaying plant matter. They played a role in breaking down plant, material and recycling nutrients in the ecosystem. Their diet made them scavengers rather than predators, so they were not a direct threat to other animals, including humans. Some scientists have proposed that they may have had chemical or physical defense mechanisms to deter predators. This is still a topic of debate and research. Although they were not directly dangerous to humans, their presence in these ancient ecosystems could have influenced the ecology and species interactions of the time. 4. Pulmonoscorpius Pulmonoscorpius is an extinct arachnid, commonly referred to as a giant fossil, scorpion, which lived during the Silurian and early Devonian periods, approximately 420 to 350 million years ago. Pulmonoscorpius could grow quite large, with some species, reaching lengths of around 70 centimeters, nearly 2.5 feet, like modern scorpions. Pulmonoscorpius likely possessed venomous stingers, which they used to immobilize and subdue prey. While their venom would have been potent enough to paralyze or kill their prey, their stings wouldn't have posed a danger to humans, as the scorpion species they evolved into did not exist during their time. Some Pulmonoscorpius species are believed to have had adaptations for living both in aquatic and Titanoboa as a carnivorous snake that likely fed on a variety of animals, including large fish, reptiles, and possibly even small to medium-sized mammals. Its size and ability to swallow prey whole would have allowed it to capture and consume relatively large prey terrestrial environments, while Pulmonoscorpius had characteristics that made them effective predators in their ancient environments, they are no longer a danger to anyone, as they disappeared from the Earth's ecosystems millions of years ago. 3. Titanobo Titanobo was an extinct, giant snake that lived approximately 60 million years ago, during the Paleocene Epoch. It is considered one of the largest snakes to have ever existed, while Titanobo is long extinct and poses no danger to humans today. Titanoboa could reach lengths of up to 42 to 50 feet, about 13 to 15 meters, and potentially even larger. Its massive size would have made it a top predator in its environment. Titanobo was a carnivorous snake that likely fed on a variety of animals, including large fish, reptiles, and possibly even small to medium-sized mammals. Its size and ability to swallow prey whole would have allowed it to capture and consume relatively large prey. Titanoboa lived in what is now modern-day South America, in a lush tropical rainforest environment. Like modern boa constrictors, Titanoboa likely used constriction as its primary method of subduing and killing prey. It would have coiled around its prey and squeezed it until the prey's vital functions ceased. 2. Megalodon Megalodon was a giant, extinct species of shark that lived in the world's oceans from approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. While Megalodon no longer exists, it was one of the most formidable and powerful predators to have ever lived in the ocean.
Megalodon was one of the largest predators in Earth's history, with estimated lengths of up to 82 feet, 25 meters, or more. Its massive size alone would have allowed it to prey on a wide range of marine animals, including large whales and other marine mammals. Megalodon had a massive serrated set of teeth, with the largest teeth measuring several inches in length. Megalodon was a carnivorous predator, and its diet primarily consisted of marine mammals, large fish, and other sharks. There is no need to worry about the dangers of Megalodon, as it has long disappeared from the world's oceans, and the largest extant shark species, such as the great white shark, are relatively small compared to their prehistoric ancestor. 1. Spinosaurus Spinosaurus was a massive extinct dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous period, approximately 112 to 93 million years ago. While Spinosaurus was a formidable predator and a top carnivore in its ecosystem, it is crucial to remember that it is no longer a danger to humans as it went extinct long before the appearance of our species. Spinosaurus was one of the largest theropod dinosaurs with estimated lengths of up to 49 to 59 feet, 15 to 18 meters, or more. Its massive size allowed it to prey on a variety of animals, including large fish and other dinosaurs. Spinosaurus was uniquely adapted to an aquatic lifestyle, with long crocodile-like jaws filled with conical teeth. It is believed to have been a skilled swimmer and a predator of fish and other aquatic prey making it a top predator in the waterways of its time. Spinosaurus was a carnivore and its diet likely included a range of aquatic and terrestrial animals such as fish, other dinosaurs, and even pterosaurs. We should be grateful are no longer part of our world. While they may have inspired fear and awe, their extinction has allowed modern life to flourish and evolve. If you enjoyed this countdown, don't forget to like share and subscribe for more exciting content thanks for joining with me today and we'll see you in the next video